A very good morning to you, beautiful beaders. Hope you are all good today. Um, what are we doing today? We are making some beautiful beaded butterflies. Um, the weather here is wet and drizzly and a bit miserable. Uh, drop me a comment if you're watching. Let me know what the weather's like where you are, what your plans are for today, um, and that you can see and hear me okay. So, good morning, Edward. How are you doing today, my lovely? Are you okay? Lucy, how are you doing today? Are you feeling okay? Um, I've not gone for the tiara today, but just special for you. I've decided to wear my fluorite wire wrapped headband. So, a bit tiara ish, a bit princess ish, just for you. So I hope you're okay. Um, so yeah, beaded butterflies. These are really simple to do, really lovely to make. Um, you can do them with little ones. I think they make lovely um, little brooches. You could wear them maybe as part of your hairband. You could, um, I've put some on little garden canes um, to keep my flowers standing up. And I think they look lovely there. And because of the lovely crystal rondelles that you're getting and the colours in your miracle beads, they also look look very nice as window hangings. So you can, I mean, in your kit today, you're going to be able to make lots of these. So you can do a whole display with them. So let's see what you're up to and who's here. Um, good morning, Debbie. Hope you're doing okay. Good morning, Karen. How are you? You okay? <laughs> Lucy says she's loving the tiara. It's not quite a tiara, it's a hairband. Um, but yeah, I've got a bit of festival vibes going on. Not like the weather as well. I don't know, it usually does rain, doesn't it, when you're at a festival, I suppose. Not that I've been to many, not lately anyway. Uh, good morning, Kath. Hi, Mum. <laughs> uh, Victoria likes the headband. Thank you, Victoria. Um, really easy to do. Maybe we'll do a, a session on them. Um, you know me, crystal chips. If it's a gemstone, I'm, I'm eager to make with. Um, Carol says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. Windy, but so far sunny here today in Brixham. Off to work in a bit, though. But we'll try and make this one a quick one for you then, Carol. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the colourways and then we might do um, snail race, as Kitty calls it, but it'll be a caterpillar race today, won't it, with them being butterflies. And you can choose what colour you'd like me to demo with. Um, and I might even make a simplified version of it. It'll look exactly the same. Um, but as I was making and going along the process, I thought, I think I'm overcomplicating this more than it needs to be. So um, not that it's complicated at all. It is something you can do with little ones. Um, but if the wire work gets a little bit fiddly at times, then there's a there's an easy solution to that. So we look like we've got all of our lovely regulars here today. Is there any new time watchers, perhaps? Anyone tuning in for the first time or somebody who's, oh, wow, look at that. Um, good morning, Mina. Just finished uh, chatting to my mum, she says, who lives in New Zealand. How lovely. Um so, yeah, is there anybody who maybe just watches but lurks in the back and doesn't comment? If that's you, pop in a little hello to everybody. Let me see that you're here. Uh, good morning, Natalie and everyone. It's a bit dull but warm here in Kent. I mean, I've not been outside today. It, it possibly is warm. It felt warm yesterday, even though it got really windy. Um, I don't know where the summer's gone. It's, it's typical British weather, isn't it, I suppose? Uh, but maybe you're not watching in Britain. Maybe you're somewhere else. Dean, good morning to you. He asked, how are we doing this morning? Good morning, everyone. I'm doing really well. Really pleased to be with you. I'm really excited to show you the butterflies as well. Um, bring it back a little bit of sunshine and a little bit of summer vibes. Good morning, Natalie, my beady friends. Good morning, Robin. How are you today, my love? You okay? Oh, we've got lots of people here. That's always good. Oh, I've got a question. May I ask if I can give your camera... Oh, I can give my camera a quick wipe. Mm, where are all my polishing cloths that I've got? Let me have a little look. It, I was going to ask, is it my, um, my camera? But it won't be, will it? It will be this um, lovely one that's staring at me. Let's have a little look. Is that better? I don't think it makes any difference, does it? Um, it's maybe just a soft focus, which I could do with it really of a morning, especially on a Friday morning. I am in soft focus. Okay, well... 
mm, maybe that's a better thing <laughs> Debbie you don't want to see me in real light <laughs> maybe there's a filter on it I don't know I'll have it I'll give it a proper clean later on and hopefully uh, on Monday you'll be like oh my goodness is that what she really looks like Lucy says she wants to be a princess Lucy you are a princess you can be a princess every day doesn't matter what you're wearing okay good morning Sheila she says she's watching with her two grandsons they're eager to make the butterflies today that's lovely Sheila um they'll be an absolute whiz at this make sure you pop their progress and their work in the totally um handmade group and let me see what they've been working on this morning with you okay without further ado let's take you over to the website and you can see all the lovely colorways that we've got for you and the offer that simon's put on for us today so let me take you over to the page which is totallybeads.co.uk you know the drill this is the website you've got loads of lovely offers on at the moment you can see all these gorgeous things there you can either scroll on down and click on video tutorials or you can click on the big logo here okay so video tutorials today is the butterflies the 6th of august already i don't know where the she is gone okay so have a little look at the different color choices we've got for you today they are an absolute bargain they're down to eight pound from ten pound um some of them even £10.30 and they've been reduced down to £8.24 there for the green one because you're getting a little bit more sparkly special crystals, I guess. Um, you're probably going to be able to make at least seven, I would say, if not more, out of the kit that you get. So we've got beautiful blue, a lovely bronze, green, grey, purple and red. I'm going to click on the grey one because... You know, you think grey is quite muted colours, but actually, oh, nearly added that to my bag. <laughs> if you look at the colours, because of the crystals, you've got kind of like a lovely bluey, greeny tint to these crystals. So in your pack, you're getting your beading wire, which is, you know, 0.4, and I think it's about 20 metres on that reel also getting your crystal rondelles and i think there's about 100 on your string so you're going to be able to make lots and lots and you're also going to get your four millimeter miracle beads and you're getting three colors in that so that's how lovely they are let's go back up oh. and if you're a first time buyer you're going to get that 10 percent off as well but i'm sure you've already got lots of points in your basket and you can add them as you go so they're the colourways that we've got for you today. Let me stop sharing that screen and I will take you straight down onto the mat. So we've got Lucy saying, these butterflies are so cute. They really are. They are really, really pretty. Uh, we want somebody who is this. Victoria wants us to make headbands. That's fine. No problem. Um, they've got lots of choices, the headband widths as well. It totally beads and obviously if you make them with the um, gemstone chips which i often do there's loads of choices i think everybody got one for christmas off me this year last year and um, probably get them this year as well um so good morning camille how are you doing she's hoping everyone's well jitty hello my lovely you're all a friendly bunch aren't you so yeah everybody's here everybody's happy let's get down to the mat and i will show you all these lovely comments i will scroll back up later just in case i've missed anything what's miss kitty saying this is lush just had a lay in and watching natalie from bed well deserved i think kitty i hope you're comfy i hope you've got yourself a cuppa and you can just lay back and relax and i don't know maybe even make some butterflies while you're there and um, kitty says we had lots of fun picking the colors out we really did and they are all lovely and she agrees it is 20 meters on your spool of wire okay so let's go down to the mat and i will show you how easy these are so as you can see we've got beautiful different color choices you've got your reds your orange your yellows and they really do shimmer. I mean, the thing with miracle beads is 
when you actually see them up close, they've got such a beautiful luster to them. They're really pretty. You've got a bronze kind of colorway, which has got the yellows and kind of gold, bronzy, kind of coppery tones to it. You've got your kind of pinks and your lilacs, blues, greens, all sorts of choices. So it is entirely up to, to you on preference. And the colours of your wire is also going to match those as well. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start off showing you the red colourway, just because it's easier for me to differentiate between the colours when I'm telling you what to put on. And then I think we'll have a little bit of a butterfly and snail race if we've got time. And I'll show you how to do a slightly different method, but creating exactly the same technique. So let's move these out the way for now. So we'll start off with the red one. So you're going to need to take your 0.4 wire, which comes on a spool. I've got this lovely red colour to go with my red colourway. And you're going to need about 60 centimetres now, it's up to you if you want to make them, I'm just measuring this against my ruler, if you want to make it slightly longer because you'll be able to tie it onto things. Oh, I've got my wire caught in a twist. Just bear with me. Um, so as I say, you know, you might be able to, you might want to tie them onto garden canes. You might want to attach them and make them into a little bit of a brooch. It does depend on what you're doing with them. So you're going to cut about 60 centimetres of your wire off your reel. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our beautiful beads out ready to go. So as you can see, I have made loads and loads of these, specifically, specifically the red ones. Um, and I've still got loads of beads left in my pack. So I think you're going to be able to make at least seven but it depends on how you mix the colours together, what order you put them on, what pattern you use. Um, you know, there's there's no right or wrong way of doing this. It is just whatever you kind of like the look of. So firstly, we're going to take, I'm going to take the yellow bead. And I'm just going to take one. And I'm going to add that on the middle of one end of my wire. So taking one end of the wire and I'm going to bring the ends up together so we're finding the centre. So you've got it on the centre of your wire. Is this picture clear? And all we're going to do is squish with our fingers so we're putting that bead in the middle. Get to focus. And this is going to be our little butterfly bum, I suppose, or its little tail. Let me get that to focus. So we've just popped it on one end of the wire, brought it into the middle and squished it on. So it's going to act as a bit of a stopper. OK. Let me just scroll down and check your comments a sec. Oh, there's loads of you this morning. That's lovely. Okay, so once you've done that, we are going to take our lovely crystals. So I'm using the red ones. And you can size this up if you want to by adding more crystals and adding more beads. You can make them bigger or smaller. So I'm going to take six. And using the two ends of my wire that I've brought together, I'm going to thread these crystals onto both of the ends. So you're bringing the wires together and just threading them on. So one, two, three, four. five, six. And you're going to bring them right down to the end. So they're sitting next to your little miracle bead at the end there. And that's stopping them from going anywhere. They're not going to go anywhere there. And then we're going to take our 
wire and we're going to open them up and push that down a little bit and these pieces of you know 0.4 are what we're going to start making our wings with so to begin with i'm going to use five of the red ones so i would do this one wing at a time and then they're not going to roll off the end so one two three four five and then i'm going to do exactly the same using the orange ones we're going to add one two three four and five and now using the yellow ones we're just going to add two of this color i say there's no you know right or wrong way of what color choices you want to add to these but and what order you put them on but this way i think looks quite nice and now we're going to reverse it again so this time we're going to put the orange on and we're using five again one two three four five and then five of the reds to finish off So you're bringing them down to the wire. So it's five, five, two, five, five. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this end of the wire up through the body of the butterfly. And we're gonna start one up from the end of this crystal. So your first crystal, if it's easier, you can just bend that wire a little bit just to move it out the way. Hold, oh, I've just dropped a bead. I don't know how that came off when I had hold of the end. If it is a little bit tricky, you can always trim the end off as well. But these should run through quite easily. So you bring in that wire up and it's coming out the top of the body. And we're just going to pull that wire to bring them together. like that and now we're going to do the same on the other side so five red five orange Two yellow and then reverse it. Because you're using the 0 0.4 wire, it does go on really easy. You've got quite a large hole in between your bead. So they thread on quite nicely, not too fiddly. Good for little fingers. And then finishing off with the five red. Okay, so bringing them all down towards the end or the, the middle of the wire, your butterfly body. And we're going to bring this wire 
again up through the middle starting after that first crystal and it just slides nicely up through so pull those wires tight and you should have this little shape at the moment okay once we've done that we're going to add another crystal which is going to represent the butterfly head so it's going on both ends of the wire so you take your two tail ends and you're going to thread that through your crystal and bring that down like this and now we're going to make the antennae so I choose to use the colours that I've used for these centre and its little bump. So I'm going to take another yellow miracle bead and I'm just going to pop it on one end of that wire. And then I'm going to bring it through the head now this is slightly the tricky bit. What I want to do is I want to bring this wire back through the head crystal and the first two on the body. Now, it will go through quite easy, but it's difficult to see when it's coming out. So I tend to bend the body and then as you push that wire through, can you see how that's just come through? So we're taking it through the two top crystals in the body and then just pulling that through. Don't pull it all the way, just pull it a little bit. And then the same with the other side. So we are taking another yellow miracle bead and we're adding that on to the other tail end of the 0.4. We're gonna bring it back through the head of the first crystal and then you can see it's coming through there. We want it through the first one and the second one. I'm trying to, sorry, I need to hold this in camera, but I'm trying to look at it under my face so I can see. So it's come through that first one there. I want it to come through the second one. So it comes out here. And if it does come out and it's a little bit tricky, you can always just get your pliers and pull that one through. So it should look like this. So you've got your two wires coming out underneath that third crystal, essentially. Can you see that okay? Okay. Now I've not pulled these all the way taut. Mm -hmm. So you can see that a bit better. So you've got these little loops at the top now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my miracle bead towards the top of this loop. I'm trying to, going to make them kind of a similar size loop. So pull them about even. And holding on to the miracle bead, I'm just going to start to twist. And by twisting that, I've made my first little antennae so hold on to the miracle bead between your finger and your thumb and we're just going to twist that wire like so so now where you've got these two wires coming out of the middle of the body this is where we're going to put some decoration and a little bit of pattern while we start to shape our butterflies. So this time I'm gonna use the yellows again. And I'm gonna take five and on one end of the wire, I'm just gonna thread them on. Two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to bring this through those two miracle beads, so in between those two 
on the side of the wing and I'm just going to do one loop to bring that back round. And then add my other five on. We're going to go back in the other direction. So one, two, three, four, And then we're going to bring this one back into the center. So underneath that second little bead inside the body, that second crystal where we brought the wires out. And I'm just going to wrap that round once, twice to secure. And again on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. You're having fun watching me count. <laughs> so bring in that wing in a little bit to bring this wire through those two at the end, two yellows on the end of the wing, bringing the wire around once and adding the beads again on the way back to the middle of the body. One, two, three, four, five. And then bring this in and um, yeah i'm gonna bring it there i mean you could bring it there actually that may have been a bit neater but i'll do it this side so it's uniform so we're wrapping it around once and twice now with these two tail ends that we've got sticking out the top you can use them to directly wire them onto something as say if it's a hairband or a brooch or whatever. If you don't want to attach them to anything, all you're going to do is trim the ends. And then with your flat nose pliers, we're going to just tuck those ends in so they're not sticking out. And then you can shape your butterfly. So I tend to bring it in at the center a little bit so I'm rounding those edges and then I open these out in the middle and add a little bit of shape to my antennae and that is how to make your butterfly and it's really really easy Judith says these are really cute and yes, I'm enjoying listening to your count. It's a bit like, is it Sesame Street? Is it the count that counts? I think it is, isn't it? Lucy says, um, I've got a fairly good miracle bead bundle. I might try and do a few of these. I love them. Well, you can use whatever colours you like. But I do think these colours look really lovely together. Um, so if you haven't got any order some now oh has it frozen am i frozen for anybody else victoria thinks it's frozen please don't tell me i've frozen all you've done is miss me counting victoria if that's the case right okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you a way of doing them exactly the same however i won't bring the antennae back through the middle because sometimes that can be a little bit fiddly and it can be a little bit tricky because you've got a couple of the wires running through it uh, Camille says no we're not frozen oh thank goodness for that a little bit at the start Lucy says but okay oh well that's a relief okay so let's do another one but this time instead of doing the red ones <clears throat> let's have a little bit of a 
snail race or caterpillar race. So I'm going to put these at the top of my mat. I watch Kitty do this all the time and think I'd like to do this. Oh, we have some lovely star senders. Charlotte, thank you so, so much for the stars. It is much appreciated. Really, really, I'm very grateful. Okay, so pop a comment in. Lucy's already started. Pink, pink, pink. And I'm getting a purple, so I'm guessing that's the same one. Any other suggestions? Or are we just going to go straight for the pink? Blue. I haven't got much end of the table, so it's not going to be a long race. Pink again. Blue. Purple. I'm saying this one's blue. Um, pink and purple. Pink for Lucy. Another blue. Ooh, grey's coming in. Pink. It's going to be the pink, isn't it? Okay, let's do pretty in pink. Okay, so let me get my pinky purple lilac -y colorways. So again, you're going to take your wire. This time we've got a lovely gold colored wire. And we're going to cut about 60 centimeters. Don't know what I've done with my spools today. I'm getting them all tangled and fiddly your wire doesn't have to be straight and if it does get to a point where you know you are struggling to thread it through the beads then you can just trim a little bit of the end off if it's bent a little bit okay so i'm gonna take this shade which i'm gonna call lilac and i'm gonna thread it on to my wire and I'm going to bring my ends of the 0.4 up together so we find the middle of that wire and with my fingers I'm squishing it together so I'm bringing those tail ends in and my beads not going to fall off the end And then I'm going to take my beautiful crystals. I just love the colour of these. I love the colour of all of them. I am like a magpie. And we are adding six crystals on to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to take both of the ends of my wire. And I'm threading my crystals onto both of them. So all the crystals are going on both ends of my wire and all the way down to the bottom to sit next to the little bead. And then I'm opening up the wire So it's sitting flat. And as Lucy's reminded us, you are definitely, definitely going to get your value for money here. You're going to make at least seven butterflies. I mean, the amount of wire you've got is just, you could make so many with them. Um, you're definitely not going to run out of wire. But also, you know, you might want to mix up this pattern and you know, you've got that many miracle beads and about 100 crystals. You're going to be able to make loads of them. You only need, what, seven crystals for each for each butterfly. And you can make them larger. You can make them smaller. OK, so I'm going to start off with the darker colour. Which is this very pretty purpley colour. And I'm adding five onto that one end. Then I'm going to take the pinky coloured ones and 
and I'm adding five onto the same end of wire. Then I'm going to go for two of the darker ones. Oh, no. The one we started off with, the lightest one, isn't it? So two of those. And then I'm going to reverse that colour pattern. So going back to the pink. And then finishing off with five of the darker ones. Okay. I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm going to put a little tiny bend between that first or bottom crystal so I can get my wire to run up the middle of the crystals and pop out the top. I need to give it a little bit of a wiggle. Where's it gone? There it is. And um, if you can't grab it with your fingers, take your pliers to pull that through. And the same on the other side. I do the same on the other side because butterflies are symmetrical, aren't they? So whatever pattern you do with your beads on one side, I advise you do the same on the other. Don't know many names of butterflies. Suppose the red one could have been Red Admiral. Don't know what one in nature this looks like. And then five of the pink. Two of the kind of Paley lilac -y colours. See, this is why I did the red and the orange one, because I can differentiate not clearly between them. Reversing that with five more of pink. And finishing with five of the dark ones. And we're bringing that all the way down. As I say, if you think it's a little bit fiddly to get it through, you can just trim off a tiny bit of your wire just to make that straight again. I tend to bend it down and then feed it all the way through. Sorry, not in shot at all there. Gently pushing it, gently pushing it until you see it coming out the top and you can either pull it with your fingers or you can pull it with your pliers. And pull these nice and taut. Okay, now we're going to add another crystal for the head. And that's going on both of the wires like so and then we're going to do the antennae again only this time we're not going to bring it back through the body i'll show you a slightly different way so you're adding one on 
You're still gonna bring that back through the head. We're not gonna pull it too taut because we want to be able to twist them into the antennae. Again, back through the first crystal, which represents its little head. Make your loops roughly the same size of each other. And then we're going to hold that bead while we twist, 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 twist. And you want to just twist as many times until this bead becomes kind of held in place at the top. And don't worry about the shape because you can reshape it at the end. Okay. Now, instead of bringing these back through the body, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it. I mean, you could just start adding your beads on there and you could do a different pattern. It doesn't have to go through the middle. But I'm just going to wrap this wire, each tail end, twice between the head and the first miracle bead on each side of the wing. So it's coming underneath the wing, next to the head, and underneath the wing again. And as I say, you could add your beads directly onto there, or you can trim off your excess. Make sure you're just trimming the tail end of your wire and not your butterfly wing tuck those ends in so we've got no sharp bits coming out i want to just get your pliers in between those beads and your crystals like that and then shape as usual just pushing it in with my thumb And then you can add your wire on. So you can either use the wire you've just cut off or you could cut yourself another piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the middle of my wire behind the same point as we did when we brought them through. So the two crystals. I'm going to bring one over that way and one over the other way so they're just sitting and they're quite secured and anchored on and then i'm just going to add my beads like i did before so i'm adding five to one end I mean, you could change up your pattern in this bit if you wanted to. I'm going to bring it in between those two central ones on the wing and wrap that wire once around and add in another five. I'm bringing it back through the middle. This time I'm going to go just one down and wrap that so they're not all sitting in the same place. So if this is your central crystal, that you'll have them both wrapped around. So you've got your two wires coming off that way. And then we're going to do it on one again one two three four five 
So there's no real method with how you have to have your wires positioned, which way you do it. You're just doing whatever's easiest for you. So if you want, you can wrap this round and secure at the end and then add the crystals on to this end. Or you can bring it back down again and put them on the same wire and cut that one off, which is what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four, and the last bead, five. Bringing that in, wrap it around the bead. And as I say, you've got these two long tail ends that you can use to wrap onto something or you can trim them off with your pliers and secure them down. And then shape. So they look exactly the same, slightly different method. It's entirely what works for you. So Lucy's telling Joe that we need a rainbow butterfly. I think we do. If you haven't got all of the beads, buy numerous kits. They're already on sale, so you're getting them down to £8 today. So you could buy a few and you can make hundreds of them. You'd have a whole butterfly garden. We've got Judith saying, I think a couple of these would look nice along my hedge. I think that'd be lovely, Judith. You could add um, like little colourful lights and things to them. And hopefully the weather will improve and then we'll actually get to enjoy them in the garden. So let me make myself big again for you. Uh, let's see your comments. Don't know if I've missed loads. Charlotte, thank you for the stars. Uh, Lorna said, could you move the wing up the body to make it look like a dragonfly too? Yes, you absolutely can. You most definitely can. Uh, the wire is, you know, brilliant to move um, and shape with. You can make whatever you want with these. Um, you could, yeah, definitely. Oh, I think we need to see some um, dragonflies. We've gone a bit dragonfly mad, haven't we, lately with Totally Beads? Because um, Kitty done some gorgeous dragonflies as well. So, yes, Lorna, that's a lovely suggestion. Um, we most definitely can. Uh, Carol's been kind enough to ask everybody to like the demo. Only like it if you like it. Um, if it's something that you think, yeah, I can give this a go. And I say, it's really easy. You'll be able to do this with little ones. Um, if it, you know, you're not that confident with wire, you're a first-time wire user, then, again, they're really easy to shape. So that will give you a little bit of confidence. So what are we doing next week? Um, next week, we've got quite a few different um, things for you, actually. So I'm going to be with you, as usual, on Monday and on Friday. And the kit that you are getting is going to do you for the whole week. So we are going to be using Miracle Beads again. We're also going to be using some absolutely beautiful acrylic flowers um so on the monday i'm going to show you how to make some lovely leaf earrings and i'm also going to be using the same things from the kit on the friday to show you how to make some beautiful pendants and um, acrylic rose flower pendants too so i will briefly show you on my mat and give you a little bit of a sneaky peek so there's going to be all sorts of techniques uh, there's going to be all sorts of techniques. We're going to be showing you how to make uh, kind of leafy rings. I'm going to be showing you how to make little coils and um, little like flower charms, um, coil spaces, lots of different little techniques you can do with your wire just to add embellishments to things. So whether they be bracelets or necklaces like these, we've also got these lovely connector tubes um which i think just adds a real kind of statement piece can you see that, Is that looking okay so 
as I say, next week is going to be quite an exciting one because you're going to get a kit on the um, Monday and the Friday. It's going to do you both. And you're going to be able to learn lots of different things. Um, oh, Lucy says she likes a sneak peek. Pamela says, wow, they're beautiful. Do you know what? They are really, really, really easy to do. Um, and they're really versatile as well. You'll be able to kind of make them how you want them. Um, I'm going to show you how to shape the leaves on the Monday. The leaves we'll use for the earrings. Um, but obviously, you can see we're using them on the pendant and these kind of dangle too. So they make um, quite a lovely sound actually when you're wearing them. The little um, coils and embellishments I'll show you do make a really lovely sound as you wear them. So that's next week, which I'm very excited about. So what are you all doing with your lovely afternoon? Have you got anything nice planned? Um, anything lovely in store for the weekend? I'm hoping that the weather improves. Um, Today, I'm going to probably, more housework, isn't it? I've got a load of washing to do. Not that it's going to go out on the line. It's going to have to go in the dryer. Um, and I'm going to be probably experimenting with all the lovely things that I've got. So I've got some more nice projects coming up for you in the next few weeks. Um, so thank you so much for being with me today. I hope that I've responded to you all. Any questions that I may have missed, I'll watch back and I'll answer those in a second um so yeah thank you so much for joining me again today I hope you have a lovely 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 weekend and I will see you on Monday so love and light to you all take care bye